Hello, friends. Welcome to Tech Talks Engineered Channel. Guys, please note that this is one of the most important videos about Power Transformer. Because today we will discuss about complete manufacturing process of Power Transformer. Which means we will see what is inside a Power Transformer with actual photos and video clips. Also, we will see step by step manufacturing of Power Transformer. Big transformers with high rated voltage level and capacity such as 50 MVA 220 kV 132 kV 315 MVA 400 kV and all the transformers with capacity and voltage level more than these mentioned ratings are tailor made consider a case of high capacity tailor made power transformer once manufacturer receives technical specifications and other parameters manufacturing starts with design first all electrical and mechanical aspects of design are completed. Then, there are major eight stages in transformer manufacturing. 1. Winding manufacturing. 2. Core manufacturing. 3. Winding core assembly. 4. Connections. 5. Oven drying and pressing. 6. Tanking and final assembly which includes bushing mounting, oil filtering and filling process and accessory mounting. 7. Testing and Customer Inspection 8. Dispatch Before proceeding in details of manufacturing as per mentioned points, let's identify major parts of power transformer. For understanding let's take an example of typical 315 MVA 400 kV single phase transformer. These are core limbs, wrapped with fiberglass tape. This is frame, holding the core. Now this is complete transformer before tanking. This is also called as active part. This is winding block assembly including primary, secondary and tertiary windings, covered with insulation sheet. These are top and bottom winding block wooden segments. This is neutral leads. This is LV leads. On opposite side, this is HV leads. These are tap windings leads, called tap leads. This is tank bottom part. Now let's start with manufacturing. 1. Winding. Once all the required material such as conductors, insulation, is issued to manufacturing unit, winding manufacturing starts as per design drawings. Copper used for windings is class A copper. Former which is also called as mandrel is used to coil the winding. Formers are large cylindrical wooden structure. Some formers are vertical, some are horizontal. Common types of windings based on construction are helical winding and disc winding etc. As we can see in diagram, helical winding is wound on horizontal former. And disc winding is wound on vertical former. Some of the main points which are verified during winding manufacturing are number of turns, height and insulation intactness of winding. Also it is ensured that there is enough inter-turn space and winding for transformer oil to pass, so that cooling would be better. Then winding is sent to oven where it is dried and impregnated with oil. Drying is done to remove the moisture and winding insulation and oil is impregnated to avoid moisture ingress. After oven process winding is pressed as per design parameters to ensure desired height of winding. Then winding is sent to assembly section. This is tap winding used for tap changing. 2. Core. Core is made up of CRGO material. CRGO means cold rolled grain oriented. Grain orientation is done to improve magnetic permeability of core. First cutting is done as per requirements. Then core stacking is done on core table. Insulation is used at intervals to reduce hysteresis losses. Some insulation tests are carried out during stacking such as MEGAR. After proper stacking and tightening of core, core is sent to assembly section. 3. Winding core assembly. At the stage of manufacturing winding blocks are lowered on core limbs. While lowering windings, it is taken care that insulation doesn't get damaged. 4. Connections. After winding core assembly HV side and LV side connection is done. Star delta connections of winding is done at this stage. Also proper rooting of HV and LV leads is done. This rooting is done with the help of cleats. 
After connection, some important tests such as insulation tests, winding resistance, ratio test is also carried out so as to check whether connection is right else can be rectified there itself. It saves from possible errors to pass on during manufacturing and saves a lot of time. How does it save time? Suppose ratio test is not carried out at connection stage, and if an error is there, which eventually will get identified at the time of testing which is the final stage. Hence in such cases transformer needs to be oil drained, untanked, and after error correction again tanking and oil filling is done. This process takes a lot of time, and is very costly. Hence in process tests are very important. 5. Oven drying and pressing. Drying is important stage to remove moisture from insulation. Most commonly used drying process is called VPD, means vapor phase drying system. This process takes place for about 3 to 5 days. Duration of drying depends upon amount of insulation used in transformer. More the insulation more the time of drying. After drying pressing is carried out. Once assembled and dried transformer is taken out of the oven, pressing is done. This pressing is carried out as per design parameters. Hydraulic jacks are used for pressing. Here on drawing we can see pressure gauges to monitor pressure applied. As in picture hydraulic jacks are placed in between frame and winding top wooden segments. Pressing is done to achieve desired height and, consequently desired improved impedance values. After pressing some important in process tests are carried out such as insulation tests, winding resistance tests etc. 6. Tanking. Post-pressing tanking preparations are done. There are mainly two types of tanks. One is conventional tank and other is belt type tank. In conventional tank curb bolts are at top and in belt type tank curb bolts are at bottom. During tanking all the clearances such as HV, LV and neutral leads to earth clearances and some other important clearances are measured. And ensured that these clearances are as per design parameters. 7. Bushing mounting. After tanking HV and LV bushing mounting and bushing connection is done. Tanking and bushing mounting process is completed within stipulated time to avoid moisture ingress in insulation. 8. Oil filtering and filling process. After tanking and bushing mounting immediately vacuum is applied. During vacuum leakage if any can be identified, since desired vacuum won't be achieved in case of leakage. Once desired vacuum is achieved oil filling process is carried out. Oil filling is done under vacuum. Also oil filling is done from bottom valve of transformer only, to avoid any air bubble formation in oil. After oil filling, oil filtering is done. Oil filtering is done through diagonally opposite valves one at top and other at bottom so that maximum area inside transformer is covered. After oil filtering transformer is kept for settling that means turbulence caused due to oil filtering gets settled. 9. Accessory Mounting After oil filling all the accessories such as book holds relay, radiators, conservator tank, PRV means pressure relief valve, MOLG magnetic oil level gauge, OLTC drive mechanism, marshalling box containing, OTI oil temperature indicator, WTI winding temperature indicator, oil surge relay, terminal box, cable trays etc. These mountings are checked before sending transformer for final testing. 10. Testing and customer inspection. Once all necessary accessories and mountings are fitted, transformer testing is carried out. There are following types of tests carried out at factory. 1. Type tests. 2. Routine tests. 3. Special tests. 4. Site tests. First, type tests are generally done for the first unit of any transformer lot. These tests are to confirm design parameters. Hence first unit of a lot is tested for type tests. On rest of the units of the lot routine tests are done. Type tests are as follows. 1. Winding resistance measurement. 2. Ratio test. 3. Vector group test. 4. Measurement of impedance, also called short circuit test. 5. Measurement of no load loss in current, also called as open circuit. 
6. Measurement of insulation resistance. 7. Dielectric test. 8. Temperature rise test. 9. Tests on OLTC that is on load tap change. 10. Vacuum test on tank and radiator. Now routine tests. Routine tests are performed on each and every unit. Routine tests and type tests are same except type tests include temperature rise test and vacuum test extra as compared to routine test. Whereas routine test has oil pressure test instead of vacuum test. Apart from these type tests and routine tests some special tests are carried out as per requirement. These special tests are as follows. 1. Dielectric test. 2. Measurement of zero sequence impedance of three phase transformers. 3. Short circuit test. 4. Measurement of acoustic noise level. 5. Measurement of harmonics of no load current. 6. Measurement of power taken by cooling fans and oil pump. 7. Tests on bought out items such as book holt relay, pressure relief valve, magnetic oil level gauge, temperature indicators etc. Customer witnesses all above mentioned tests as per agreement with manufacturer. Now side tests. This is sweep frequency response analysis test, used to check whether any vibrations, shocks or any undesired alterations are experienced by transformers during transport. We will discuss about testing in separate video in detail. 11. Dispatch. After thorough testing and customer inspection, and once customer's clearance for dispatch is received, dispatch procedure starts. During dispatch all the accessories such as radiator bank, bushings, turrets, conservator tank, breathers, book halt relay, MOLG, marshalling box along with OTIWTIN. Oil pumps are separately dispatched. Following important points are checked during transformer dispatch. One. Dry air pressure of transformer. 2. Dew point of air filled in transformer. 3. Litmus paper color. Litmus paper should indicate dry status of air inside transformer. 4. Shock recorder system is generally mounted on transformer to record any shock or vibrations experienced by transformer. 5. Finally all dispatch items are checked visually for any paint peel off or dents. If any are immediately attended before dispatch. Hence complete healthy and a brand new transformer is dispatched on destined site for commissioning. So guys this is all about transformer manufacturing. Hope you liked the video. If yes please hit the like button. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.